Hey, our verse of the day is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. It says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Thanks for checking out the verse of the day today. I hope you'll click subscribe real quick so you can stay updated on all the latest and greatest content. Today, I love this verse because it reminds us that the Christian experience is one that is by faith. It's easy to fall into the trap of believing that we have to see everything before we can act in faith. Sight represents maybe what we are familiar with, what we have done in the past, what we have seen others do. Sight is what is easy. Faith requires us to make choices and decisions that are beyond our comfort. It's kind of like we have to call the ball on that scenario when we're not really sure how that's all going to work out. Like when Abraham was taking his son up to sacrifice him on Mount Moriah or when he was leaving his homeland to go to the land of promise and he didn't really know exactly where God was leading him. Maybe you're facing some situations like that in your own life. You're trying to decide what career path or what job or what do I do with a family decision that I have or how do I make some financial decisions or how do I make some tough choices? And God is saying to you, you live by faith, not by sight. Now here's the tricky thing. Most Christian people would say, I want to live by faith. But the tricky thing is, it's a little more difficult than just saying it, isn't it? Living by faith requires a certain spiritual capacity. And how do I do that when I don't really know what to do? See, sometimes we focus on what we don't see or what we don't know more than what we do know. And even though you may not know all of the choices that you need to make and all the steps that you need to take in the coming days, here's what you can know. You can be confident in the promises of God. Now, Romans chapter 10 tells us that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So God's word is what helps fill in the gaps when we don't really know what to do. So here's some examples of some of the things that we know from the Lord. Number one, we know that God is the one who is going to strengthen us. Now again, you may not know all the decisions you need to make today and tomorrow, but you know that God's going to give you strength. You know that God is always going to be with you. You know that God is going to answer prayer. You know that God is going to be the one who is always going to meet your needs. You know that all things are working together for the good, for those that love God and who are called according to his purposes. We know that God is the one that protects us. We know that God is the one who frees us from the power and dominion of sin and control over our lives. So listen, as you're choosing to walk by faith and not by sight, don't think about what you don't know. Think about about what you do know. And what you do know is that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And when we don't know what to do, we can be confident in the promises of God that are going to lead us and guide us in all the decisions that we make.